Uh, we appreciate um, the OIC organization and we are very proud of the Gambia for hosting it this time around. It's a big international summit. Gambia being the smallest country in Africa, it's a huge honor and opportunity as well, as you've said. Uh, as the also biggest municipality in the uh, country, it's a big opportunity for us uh, to showcase some of the projects uh, we are working on and to solicit partnership uh, in the global village now. Partnerships are the way to go. And of course, we have a lot of high impact uh, projects with the sole intention of changing people's lives, of upgrading uh, the quality of life of Gambians. And of course, uh, these projects touch on several sectors, including transportation, housing, uh, waste management, etc. So we look for partnerships as a way uh, to learn and as a way for investment uh, to bring these projects to life. So OIC, of course, one of the biggest platforms in the world is a huge opportunity for us. Well, KMC is the tourism hub of the Gambia, of course. Uh, we have the, the culture, uh, it's a melting pot. Uh, KMC, all the uh, various tribes live here. Um, they live side by side, so of course we are very rich in diversity. And that's always a uh, means that there's also a lot of uh, culture that we could share with the rest of the world. Of course, KMC is all coastline. Uh, the Atlantic Ocean is on the west, and of course we have the River Gambia uh, towards the south. So th there's a lot of things to see and a lot of uh, places to navigate. Um, of course, also as a people, uh, KMC is the most youthful population in the country. So there's a lot of energy, there's a lot of vibrancy, and, and we look forward to it. We look forward to showcasing everything great about the Gambia that you could find in KMC. Uh, we've already seen the impact of the roads. Uh, of course, uh, the Bertel Harding Highway is one of the main veins of the municipality. Uh, transforming it from a two lane to six lane, uh, we're already seeing uh, the benefits. We see transportation times being cut down, productivity increase. So these benefits would be enjoyed for many years to come and it will have a positive socio-economic impact on residents in my municipality. And it's also inspired the municipality as well, the council. We are also about to launch our own road network to complement uh, the OIC project. So I think there's already been uh, a lot of life-changing uh, impact and we hope to see it continue. Um, we've also seen uh, other areas the OIC is touching like the hotel industry, etc. and of course the airport. So where there's mobility and easier movement of people and goods, of course there's economic dividend and we're already reaping the benefits. Madison, uh, it's one of the oldest sister city relationships with Canifeng. And if you look at our waste collection mechanism, it was actually modeled after theirs. So partnerships for us is more than just handouts. It's about a learning experience. It's about technical support. It's about looking at problems from across the ocean or across borders and bringing uh, the same solutions locally. So with this opportunity, of course, with 56 countries, most of them more developed than the Gambia, it's a huge learning experience, it's a big opportunity for connections that could continue impacting the municipality in various sectors. And of course, it's a huge investment opportunity. Uh, you mentioned partnerships. We believe in private sector investment to bring uh, uh, so social uh, solutions. Um, basically, we are looking at, like I said, urban public transportation, uh, we are looking at upgrades to the waste management system, the introduction of a recycling facility, we are looking at affordable housing, we are looking at market expansion, and with all these projects you are looking at social protection, you are looking at creation of employment, and of course the economic uh, dividend that comes from that. So partnerships for us as one of the sustainable development goals is number one. Uh, you can't do it alone, so partnering is quite uh, important. There's been many successes, uh, but by far the number one success is institutional reform, uh, is getting KMC to work, is ensuring there's a professional working environment, separation of politics and administration. So for me, that is the number one success story. Of course, waste management, uh, we've had uh, major dividends there 
complete overhaul of the waste management system that was in place. And now we have from 0% uh, collection to almost 70 something percent uh, collection of waste. Um, of course, we are looking at uh, the legislative changes. Uh, KMC, uh, under my leadership, has introduced uh, a, a major amendment to the Local Government Act via, of course, a Supreme Court judgment. Uh, which was called Taliban Suda 55 others versus Gambia government. But it's all for the betterment of our country, constitutional uh, reforms that empower local governance that, of course, will bring uh, more services to the doorsteps of Gambians. Of course, the, it goes without challenges, uh, challenges that are historical. Uh, these are the laws that infringe on the council's autonomy. And we will continue to take it step by step at the legislative level in the parliament and of course uh, the judiciary at the Supreme Court. But nevertheless, uh, we like to look at the positive side, uh, what we can change within our power. And that's why, again, we leverage on partnerships. Uh, where we can't go in the front door, we go into the window uh, through uh, a partnership. So basically, uh, that's my answer for that. Yeah. Well, we, we appreciate uh, journalists, we appreciate everybody in media, we appreciate Africa Agenda magazine. Uh, we would really hope to see companies like yourselves grow, and we'd like to see you grow in the sub-region, because it means jobs for Gambians. Also, it brings awareness and it keeps leaders to account. This is what Africa needs. So, good luck to you and kudos. <laughs>